Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform Bootcamp or Terraform for Beginners. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the first infrastructure that we're going to create. We're going to create a VPC, which is Virtual Private Cloud on AWS. All right. But before moving further, please subscribe to the channel and like this video because it will really support me to create more content like this. All right. So without further ado, let us dive right into the demo part. Okay. One quick thing before moving further. We need to understand what exactly is Amazon VPC. I hope you folks are already aware about the cloud part. Uh, we are going to use AWS over here. So this is just a quick overview of the a VPC. If you want to skip it, you can skip it a bit. Okay, so uh, VPC is basically virtual private cloud. It enables you to launch AWS resources into virtual network that you have defined. This virtual network closely resembles a traditional network that you'd operate in your own data center with the benefits of using the scalable infrastructure of AWS. Here is the link. You can go through it and understand what exactly is happening. So here is a region and inside that there is a VPC created. You can create subnet out of it and then you can have an internet gateway. These are the availability zone. What are the features of it? What exactly does everything stand for? You can go through it and understand everything. All right. So I will give the link in the comment section. You can go through it. So yeah, that's what about it. We're going to create that first. So let us create a new folder over here, new folder, and we're going to name it first resource, I guess, or first infra. Okay. That would be fine. And let's name them in a smaller form. Cool. So inside that you can create a new file and you can give it main dot here. So this is the first file we're going to create. We're going to write our own architecture in it. All right. So the first thing is you have to create a provider. Okay. So provider and inside that provider, what we're going to use, we're going to use AWS and you can get a region. Okay. So region, region, you can use either of it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to decide the region. Let me show you the code. Okay. So this is how you decide a region. So when you click on this global part, there are multiple regions available over here. You can choose any one of these. You can create your infrastructure in US East one, US East two, US West one, two, AP South is for Asia Pacific, Mumbai, Osaka, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo, and accordingly. Okay. So for the timing, I can use any of these one. Let's use US East two. All right. I'll minimize this. I'll type US hyphen East two. I'll save the file. And after that, I'm going to type resource. So resource is something that is the infrastructure. So we are going to create a resource over here and you have to give the type of the resource. So, uh, AWS hyphen VPC space, and you can give it a name. So name, uh, first, not first, give it a name. Let's say first VPC and I think this should be fine. And then inside that you have to use a cider block. So we're going to talk about that as well. How I am getting all these things cider block. Okay. And at the start, you can give an IP 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Do not, uh, do not be worried about it. Do not get overwhelmed. I'm going to explain each and every line. What does each and everything means? Just understand this is the main file that we are creating right now. All right. Now, once you initialize this, you can initialize it by Terraform in it. But in order to talk to AWS, your code needs to have an access key and a secret key. So you have to introduce access hyphen key equal to whatever you downloaded. And then you have to give a secret key as well hyphen key and then you have to save it. Also, whenever you type a lot of code, you need to have an IntelliSense kind of a stuff. So you can go to extensions and look for Terraform and then install this one, HashiCorp Terraform. And then this is 
going to make your coding or make your scripting a bit easier. That's all. Okay. Let's go to main.tf and let me paste access key and secret key. Okay. So I'm back with the code. These are the access keys and secret keys. Do not push them to the repository. I'm seeing it again and again. I'm going to delete it from here in, in the future videos. Do not worry. Okay. And uh, let's go to the place where it's written. Now this main.tf does not have a proper code. So I can just uh, delete that. It doesn't mean anything. Control S. And after that here, I have to go inside first infra because I want to initialize this. So CD first infra. If you do LS over here, sorry, DIR over here, you can see there is a main.tf file and that's what we want. So let's just, just clear this and write Terraform in it and wait for the initialization. Now it's initializing the backend and it can take up to some time because this is the first time it is going to talk to the AWS. So let's just, okay, perfect. The Terraform has been initialized. You may now begin working with Terraform, running Terraform plan to see any changes that are required for infrastructure. All Terraform commands should work now. So this means this is perfect. Now take a look here. The Terraform provider AWS 4.62.0 into 5x5.exe is already uh, it's automatically downloaded and you don't have to download it. And this terraform.log.hl, we're going to talk about each and every file again. Uh, right now, you just need to understand how to run this. So after that, you have to write terraform plan. And in this step, it will tell you everything if there is uh, any error. Okay, so I'll allow for the time being. So now it is saying that Terraform used the selected provider to generate the following execution plan. Resource actions are indicated with the following symbols. Create. We are going to create an infrastructure. AWS VPC. First VPC will be created. AWS underscore VPC is the name, is the type basically. First VPC. ARN, CIDR block. These will be known after apply. Known after apply means once you apply it, it will automatically get created. Okay. And plus plus green means it is going to be created. If there is a minus, it means it's going to be destroyed. Okay. So plus one to add zero to change zero to destroy. So this is something we are going to add in the infrastructure. Okay. So if everything is perfect, just type Terraform apply and let's see what happens. So once this is done, you can see there is a new file that is created terraform.tf state. We're going to talk about that in the further videos right now. I just want you to sit back and relax and understand what exactly is happening. It's going to ask my permission, enter a value. Yes. Once you give yes, it'll start creating the first infrastructure, which is your VPC virtual private cloud. Okay. And it is saying apply complete resources. One added zero change zero destroyed. Now what you have to do is go in your console, go to VPC and go over here. Let's see what happens. And you can see there is one for the Asia Pacific. There is subnet three for the Asia Pacific. Let's see what happened. Go to VPC. Now, if you go to Ohio region, which is US East two, you would be able to see that you have created the VPC over here. All right. And you can just drag it down over here. Resource map cider range, which is what we gave in the code, which is this and resource type is AWS VPC, US East 2. These are the access key and the secret key. Okay. So this has been created. So, um, I hope uh, you folks have understood this part and uh, I'm going to explain everything in the upcoming videos. The main part would be Terraform TF state, uh, HCL lock, HCL, what exactly is this file? How is this is getting created? and everything. But before that, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about Terraform destroy as well. So Terraform destroy is something that destroys everything in on the infrastructure. So I'm going to type that Terraform destroy over here, hit enter. And then it is going to see whether everything has to be destroyed or not. And uh, let it happen. Okay. So you can see this minus 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 over here. It means it is in red and it has to be destroyed. It means it will be destroyed or deleted. 
it's going to ask you after that click on yes once that is done it is going to start destroying and destroy is complete resources one is destroyed so that part is completed now if you go over here and refresh it you can see the one that I created is now destroyed so that's how it works guys so folks now you have learned about four things terraform init terraform plan terraform apply and terraform destroy all of them have different functions and different state over here uh, in the upcoming video in the next video we're going to talk about these files and that would be much more clear all right so that is for the video guys but before that please like share and subscribe to the channel because that would really support me and i'll see you in the next one